What do you guys want to talk about? You want to talk about golf? Let's talk about golf. <laughs> uh, Harry, you know, in, the, in the fall, you discussed kind of a battle you've been having uh, with your confidence and how it be, kind of came a bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy of getting down on yourself and how it translates to your game. You've been playing, though, well uh, as of late. Um, what kind of work have you done to kind of build up that conviction in yourself? God, you guys are good at asking questions. I shouldn't be shocked. Um, just kind of, I spent some time uh, with Dr. Bob Rotella just after Christmas and didn't no offense to him, didn't learn anything new, but that wasn't, he wasn't, that wasn't the goal. It's, there's no secret to kind of belief and giving yourself, the, the, the key word that I brought out was giving yourself the gift of a great mindset. Um, and then, you know, nothing result-based and painting a picture, seeing the shot before you hit it, walking in there and hitting it. And then just, you gotta live with it if, it doesn't go as you you plan and I am yes playing better golf I think I'm like three out of ten that like are like oh yeah that's what I thought was gonna happen in my head and I still need to be better at my reaction and kind of I guess it, it I react to it still a little bit too uh, you know gosh and it's it's frustrating because man I'm painting some awesome pictures I'm, I'm seeing shot which is which is really good and once the once my skills continue to get better, then it's just like, you know, it's the most fun you could ever have. You're playing golf again like a 12-year-old. Um, but I need to be careful that it's not, I don't get all riled up and angry at the world because I, my golf ball didn't do what I wanted it to do. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, there wasn't really anything work-wise that I did. This is all stuff that I know, that every one of us know. And just, I'm trying to make the choice every day to give myself the gift of a great mindset. Um, and it's hard, it, like, I mean, none of us, no one in this world is perfect, and I certainly am not. And I've done a poor job. I've, other days I've done a great job. Um, to a couple weeks ago in Palm Springs, I felt like I was about to lose it. And I turned to my brother and said, you know, say something stupid, tell me a stupid joke just so I don't freak out. Um, and then went on and shot four, five, six under on the back nine, whatever it was. And I wouldn't have allowed myself to go to him in previous years and be like, yo, help me out, man. Like I internalized it way too much and got all riled up. And then it would just, it wastes my energy. It, and then at times it just, it wastes your energy so much that you're just not, you're not all the way ready to hit your next shot. So it's, I guess nothing new. I'm not really working on it. I'm just trying to do my best at giving myself the gift of a great mindset every day. Um, Maybe I was like a six, seven out of 10 the last couple of days. I don't know that I'm ever gonna be a 10 out of 10. I'd love it, um, but you know, it is, sadly, it is a results-based business. Uh, it's not a sad thing. We love competing and I love beating people. But boy, I'm trying my best to not focus on any of that. Just painting pictures, seeing golf shots and walking in there and believing that that's what's gonna happen. Obviously, you know, trying to discon uh, disconnect the enjoyment from the results is hard enough as is but is it even harder when uh, you know uh, during this week when you're in contention are you looking up at the leaderboard and seeing that or are you just trying to totally put that out nope not not pulling up the pga tour app nothing Try, well trying to <clears throat> i didn't do a good enough job i didn't play the back nine at pebble this week and we've been here three or four times so it, it hadn't changed but part of my practice rounds now are locating scoreboards to do one of these um so a couple of them caught my eye on the back nine which but you know you're able to just i did a pretty good job of shaking it off and then we also had the situation the two groups in front of us and we on 11 we get up there and the guys were that were in the group were standing over there and like, no, no one knew what to do it was i didn't want to be rude and keep playing and uh, so i mean that in a way i wouldn't say it was necessarily a positive thing but who really, I mean, I missed a six footer for birdie on 11 and didn't really care. It was like, I just hope the gentleman is okay. Like they could have been any one of us. Um, so it, today was a weird day. And then I've, I mean, I could still be down on the beach there on 18. I don't know if you guys saw how I played that hole, but I've hit a lot of shots up the, up the coastline, not on grass. Um, so very thankful to be finished. I made it, I made an awesome six. 
which kind of pisses me off, but it was an awesome six regardless. Uh, I'm going to go put my feet up and get ready for tomorrow. Spyglass has been my nemesis. So like I was saying, I, I'm going to have to do a really good job of, especially I'm sure it's going to rain and be cold and probably a little windy. Um, I'm going to have to do a really good job of being patient, being trying my best to be happy Harry all day tomorrow, no matter what, what happens. So decent day tomorrow, and we may have a chance to win this thing. Uh, no, we were. That was the one that we missed. I think I was. Maybe it was Saturday while I was playing. I just wondered if you could relate to those players and what happened with them. The, the first. Bill oh, the first one. Yes, oh, the Monday night one. Yeah. I mean, it. It had some shades of that. I, you know, I was standing on the tee. They looked like they were about 250 yards away, maybe even less, 200 yards away, and they were hammering away CPR on the gentleman. Um, so. Yeah, in a way, and it was it was weird. I, I we teed off on eleven, and when I, once I got up there and saw the group that um, the caddy was in, they were off to the side, and they were obviously very emotional, hugging each other. I called a rules official over and just wanted like, is this okay? I, I don't I don't want to be rude and keep going. Like golf doesn't matter at all now, right? And I guess fortunately it didn't happen in in our group that we didn't really. Um, and then at the time that I had asked that. It was also voiced to us that things have improved, right? The gentleman is most likely going to recover. So that obviously takes a weight off your shoulders. But yeah, I mean, it's, I've, I mean, we've, none of us have ever had to deal with that. I mean, it's, and not, you know, no one in the NFL had ever had to deal with what happened, uh, you know, what, six, seven weeks ago. So there is no playbook. There is nothing to do. It, I, in a way, I was worried that we were still going, but then at the same time, it's like, all right, well, we're, Soldier on, keep going. Hope, hope he's okay. And fortunately, we did get some good news while we were on eleven, um, which helped. I mean, it was the yeah. I had I had seen one. I saw the group off to the left, and I saw tees in the fairway. So clearly, they were they had marked their balls and they were waiting. And I I had seen a rules official, um, you know, on the rope line, and I I wanted to call him over and be like, hey man, if I'm fine stopping, if this is like this is a very delicate weird situation um, you know the group in front of us had played the hole and gotten back to 12 T so it seemed like they were you know okay to continue on it was just you know I don't want to say weird to like take any gravity away from the situation but it was just a weird situation everybody I think everybody on property knew what had happened and everybody was flat right there was no no energy no juice on any of the holes coming in um, and again, I've, fortunately, it was it was just awkward too, walking right through that group and continuing to play. And fortunately, I mean, me personally, selfishly, it it kept my mind at ease that we had gotten some good news as I played through that group, basically. And I don't, I don't know. Maybe if it was not so good news, it was uncomfortable enough in a way that I I could have seen myself being like, I'm not going to do this, like. It didn't happen in my group. I didn't get a first-hand account of anything, but this doesn't feel right. I'm not going to keep going. And fortunately, we got some good news and kept going, and, and I hope there's more good news in, in the coming hours and days. Um, just a very difficult and, you know, kind of a first and hopefully a last. One other thing. Yeah, one other thing. The, um, you were just talking about, you know, happy Harry. Sure. You know, not looking forward to all that stuff take the emotion part away or the to the head part that you can take away do you think your game is good is good enough to be anybody out here yeah I don't think anybody would ever answer that any different um, it's certainly when I am in a good frame of mind and more accepting it's even easier um, but yeah and I, I don't maybe I don't know if I would have answered this that same question about a year ago well eh, no, a little less than a year ago in the same manner but yeah, I don't even really feel like I've gotten like remar remarkably better at anything. I've just been a little nicer to myself, and it's been a little easier. Um, it is such a you know results-driven business that we're in, and we uh, everybody wants to beat everybody. Um, but I'm trying not to focus on that and trying to just do my own, you know what, and see how great I can be. And yes, I believe that I can be one of, if not the greatest. 
who knows if I'll ever get there, but I sure feel that way, especially if I give myself the gift of a good mindset. And do you feel like, as you're in that process, do you feel like you're starting to have more fun out there, at least compared to this time last year? Yeah, it wasn't a ton of fun out there today because it was <laughs> crazy difficult. Um, yes, that's the goal. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. I get to play a game for a living. And I had no fun for about 10 months last year playing golf. I get to, I mean, you can't see behind me right now, but we can see out the little corner, right? This is supposed to be fun. I'm playing Fred Propal is one of my great friends back in Dallas. This should be a ton of fun. And it's not always, you know, I am human. We are human. Sometimes it's no fun. Leave me alone. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's another, another big piece of this. If I allow myself to have more fun, I know I play better golf doing that anyway. So again, I'm trying to make the choice and, and live it kind of day in and day out. But obviously there are things that come up in each and every day that sometimes make it difficult to, to have more fun. Sorry, I can talk.